Let's go to Reggie. Reggie, thanks for calling. You are on the Hoffman Show. What's going on, Craig? Love the show, man. Appreciate that, it, Reggie. It, as a fan, man, this this is really this really kind of shows just how bad as an organization we was the last three or four years. Again, nothing against Ron. I think if he was just allowed to coach, I think he'd have been okay. But the the people that we assembled in the front office, the people that we you know uh, it, it was in charge of like talent evaluation. I mean, think about it. Like most of the time, you know, you come in, you may, you may get rid of a couple of players, and because you want to get you know air quote your own guys in. Yeah, Craig, we blew up. Everything. We took the concession stand. We we got rid of everything. They got rid like, of the we, name on the stadium. That wasn't planned, but it does work with the joke. I mean, we so I, I think that we over we over drafted Jahan. I think he was good. I think Alave, even even with the chase, we can go back revisionist history. I wanted a quarterback, regardless of sure. who was available at the top. If you don't have a quarterback, you got to get one, regardless. But I think this was a good. I think this was a good pick. I think again, getting a third round pick for a player, and I think I saw it on your and your you your, your the stuff that you post on YouTube is great. I think Thank when you. I when I saw it, I think you had the um like the the order the depth chart. Hey, wasn't he like number five, like number four, number five? Yeah, so, I mean the way I we the way we did our our fifty three man roster on Take Command, we didn't necessarily do it as like this is the depth chart order. We just started listing guys, but. The way we described it, I think, is worth pointing out, which is it wasn't like this is they traded their wide receiver to here, the guy that was definitively going right. to be on the field next to Terry the entire time. Like I think Diami and Alamade right. both had passed him on the depth chart, um, relatively yeah. speaking, to be an outside receiver. And then he was going to be splitting reps with Luke McCaffrey depending on matchups. And at that point, like a third round guy for a rotational slot receiver or a third round pick with a, a fifth going the other way for a rotational slot receiver with two years left on his contract. That's not a bad freaking deal when you put it that way. I think, Craig, a lot of people were looking at and again, I get it. They're looking at Jahan, the rookie. Man, yeah. How can you trade? They're looking at that production. But if you go through and look at last year, I think he even admitted he was kind of in a slump, kind of got it in his own head. Now you got new people coming in. And if you look at it, just looking at like I'm looking at the preseason, not a lot of talk is going over there. It was Diami. It was, it was Terry, you know, tight end, you know, even though he only threw, you know, 10 out of 12 passes. But you can, I mean, if you're looking at it, you can, again, the, the trade, I, I don't want to say I wasn't, like I wasn't surprised because I was kind of surprised. But you, if you really think, step back as a fan and look at it, you can just tell. He was not in the plans, and so I, I appreciate the the the, the grown ups in the in, in, in the room. They're not holding on to something that and trying to put a square peg into a round hole. And I think one of your callers mentioned it previously. If you look at San Francisco's wide receivers, they are all physical. Mm-hmm. So if you don't, if you're not even blocking, and I think I don't know if you agree with this. I think blocking is more effort. I get it. You know, you may have to have some type of you know physical ability. But For I think sure, it's, it's, it's effort, you know, it's technique. There is a strength effort. element, yeah, but like. But, but you have one too yeah no 100 percent. and there's a there's a i just don't think i don't think he i don't think he had the one to I, I don't think i don't think that was just kind of in his dna to, to be a blocker so See, and that's the, taking my call again i love your show i love your stuff that you put on youtube so just keep up the good work i will do my best thank you i really appreciate that man and, and what i'll say about this in in quote-unquote defense of jahan is i don't know that that's not in him it just wasn't coming out of him like that's the thing that kind of that will always miff me about Jahan Dotson's burgundy and gold experience is there is a fight in that kid and there is a competitor in there. And it just, for whatever reason, I don't know whether EB sucked it out of him and the, and the, just the beat down that was being a part of this offense last year under his coaching or, but you think then that, Oh God, here comes cliff fun, dude. Um, you know, DQ, the, the way they compete, a new lease on life. It certainly Terry's gotten it. Terry's having a blast. Terry looks like a new human being this year compared to what he was by the end of last year. Terry's making, you know, quips at the end of last year. It was one of the classiest dudes in the league. And he's like, yeah, I'm just out there running cardio. That's what happened to Terry last year. Nevertheless, guys down the depth chart and, and, and with less experience and, and, you know, less, uh, less star, less attention on them. And Jahan, like, just never got reinvigorated this year. And and I'll never know what that was about. Maybe he just needs a change of scenery. Maybe he didn't take to whatever, you know, he just he thinks the running through the bags drill is silly or, you know, whatever. I don't know what it is. And it surprises me. But it didn't work. And at some point when it's not working, you make a change. And that's what the commanders did today. 
This is the Hoffman Show on the Team 980 and the Odyssey app.